This video focuses on converting to vertex form using completing the square. Be very careful on these. The first example you might want to just pause and watch and then write. So here's our function, f of x equals x squared plus 10x minus 13. Normally, and now you don't need to write this down, you would have a quadratic equation that looks like this, and then you'd want to solve it so you would bring this 9 over by subtracting both sides and then do your completing the square. We don't want you to do that. In, when we convert it to vertex form, we're going to leave everything on the same side. So I'm going to go ahead and go x squared plus 10x, and I'm going to leave some space like I did in the earlier problems. And I'm going to bring this minus 13 over. Now I'm set to complete the square. I go half of 10 is 5. Then I square it. 5 squared is 25. So I'm going to add 25 here. Now remember how we did not move this minus 13 to the other side? To balance out this equation, we added 25 right here. So to balance it out, we have to minus 25 if we're going to keep everything on the same side. Now I'm just going to clean it up. So I have x squared plus 10x plus 25. I'm going to keep that part alone. And then these two numbers that I have are going to stay out here on the end. And we're just going to combine them together. Negative 13 minus 25 is negative 38. Now we just factor this piece. You should be better at factoring now. Remember, these are perfect squares. So what are the factors of 25 that add to 10? Well, they're 5 and 5. And then we still have this minus 38 over here. Combine these two parentheses together as x plus 5 all squared and then minus 38. What we've done is we've converted this quadratic equation to vertex form. So that we can now find the vertex, or the critical point. So when you find the vertex, you always opposite of that sign, and then the same. So if we ask you for the vertex, it's opposite, which is minus 5, and then the same of negative 38. Second example, convert it to vertex form, identify the vertex. So these are the two terms we're going to work with. We're going to leave a little space, <clears throat> and that plus 145 goes off to the end. I'm going to take half of 24 is 12, then square it is 144. So we're going to add 144 here. That means we have to subtract 144. Notice again, if we're going to add 144, we have to subtract 144 to balance out that equation, to go back to its original. Now we're going to factor here, and then just add these together. This is a perfect square in the factory. So what are the factors of 144 that add to 24? It's x plus 12, x plus 12, or x plus 12 all squared, and then 145 minus 144 is plus 1. Now we have it in vertex form. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in that f of x. I haven't been writing that in. And now we can identify the vertex. The vertex is opposite, same. Last one of these. x squared minus 4x, and then plus 13 down at the end. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. Then square it, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So we're going to add 4 here and subtract 4 there. Now we're going to factor that quadratic equation. 
one of the factors of 4 that add to negative 4. It's negative 2 and negative 2, or x minus 2 all squared. And then this becomes 13 minus 4 is plus 9. We have now converted this quadratic equation to vertex form that we can find the vertex. So it's opposite, positive 2, same, positive 9. 